culture and nature to the adversary. Dear colleagues, dear dear friends, it's a tremendous privilege to welcome you to this 20th Ebelita conference, the 10th Navy conference, and I don't know how many joins Ebelita Navy conferences, but I'm happy they are joined. I'm welcoming you on behalf of the organizers, the Danish organizers, the Danish Library Association, the Library Umbrella, and the brand new Agency for Culture, a merger of uh, the, the Danish Agency for Libraries and Media, Cultural Heritage and the Arts, which I believe took the first initiative to bring this annual conference to Copenhagen to celebrate the Danish presidency of the uh, uh, EU. We are 130 registered participants from 32 countries. I hope you will enjoy the conference. I hope it will inspire you. I hope you will enjoy the conference dinner and the study tour tomorrow. We did our best. We even prayed for good weather. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do so again. We have today, of course, a very strong focus on the tough challenges that we work with in our daily lives. E-books, copyrights, and the ongoing changing of the world to libraries. But our scope of this conference is much broader. As the conference title tells, democracy development in a new media environment. The topic, or the point of that topic, is that the conditions for democracy are changing. They're changing along with the fragmentation of society in groups that hardly do not interact, along with the fragmentations of the news media in numerous platforms, often with no common national agenda, along with multicultural changes, along with young people turning their back to political parties, the traditional basis for our democracy. And along with groups that simply generally turn their back to society and only live in their small communities. We must find new ways for democratic enlightenment and democratic discussion and democratic inclusion. Libraries have a substantial role to play here. Libraries are playing the role, but we have to increase that role, and that's what we are focusing on today. We could and maybe ought to have widened the scope of the conference even wider. <coughs> Everybody here is painfully aware of the critical situation that most countries of Europe are in. In the first place, it's an economic crisis, but it is certainly also a cultural crisis and a crisis of values. Our politicians are striving hard to find solutions, and all countries have strategies where innovation is at the core. We must innovate to regain momentum. We must innovate to create new jobs instead of those we lost. We must innovate to maintain our democracies and welfare states, we must innovate to improve the lives of citizens all the time. In the work to find solutions, libraries are not very central in the minds of politicians, generally speaking. And I'm not speaking about, we have some brilliant politicians here, very likely focused. Or to be, I ought to be more precise, I don't know if libraries are central or not in the average political mind, but politicians do not act as if libraries are part of the solution in the crisis. And that should challenge us as library people, for we have nobody to blame but ourselves. We have a leader, a leader lobby for libraries, and thanks for that. I believe that does a very good job, but we must strengthen the organization. We must have a stronger lobbying, a stronger branding of the potential 
of lives, of, of loveliness to improve the lives of all people and to solve some of the problems that we are facing in all Europe. Libraries improve all the time. We are good to see the opportunities in the digital media landscape. We are good at implementing new services. We clearly see the need for lifelong learning, for bridging the digital divide, for offering including activities in various new library spaces. We build digital library spaces. We build new libraries that are shaped to meet different needs of different citizens groups. We are uh, very good at using the uh, social media in creating new platforms to interact with various groups. Actually, we are on the road. But the role of libraries as meeting places offers new opportunities that we should better be better to market. We should be better to be visible in the landscape. Uh, our users welcome all the initiatives. The, the, the general tendency is that the number of users grow in libraries and they use libraries in various ways. The book lending place has been replaced by a much more multifunctional uh, citizens center or community center. So we should be good at creating a political awareness that libraries are part of the solution. And I hope that this conference will enable us to be better to become visible and show how we can support and nourish the innovative forces that we need so badly. It is my hope that this conference will help us to improve, to become better, better to market the libraries and place them stronger as central institutions supporting the agenda of our societies. I wish you a very good day.